First Drive, 2019 Audi A7 Sportback. We get behind the wheel of the sleeker, more tech-laden A7 in South Africa. Cape Town, South Africa, as we point at the nose of the 2019 Audi A7 towards Sir Lowry's Pass, near the Hottentots Holland mountain range that rises above the Western Cape, we found ourselves surrounded. A small group of local boys, maybe 10 years old or so and all grinning from ear to ear, made a semicircle around our slow-moving, dark blue Audi, whooping and hollering as they ran alongside, trying to keep up and making rapid, undecipherable signals with their hands. In this semi-rural area where few households appear to own a vehicle, the sleek lines of the A7 seemed irresistible to these youngsters, leading my co-driver and I to muse about American children getting this excited about an Audi. Any Audi. When the A7 was launched back in 2010, its sleek, sophisticated design was groundbreaking for the brand. Its four-door coupe styling was still somewhat new and fresh in the market, but today, rakish, grand touring-inspired bodywork is almost the norm in cosmopolitan cities and suburbs, which is why the second-generation A7 is going to have to rely on more than just good looks if it wants to keep its market share. Not that it isn't a nice-looking car. Audi has done an evolutionary update of the slow-proof hatchback, drawing cues from the 2014 Audi Prologue concept especially in the box-flared rear fenders and rounded tail, two of the car's most striking features. The car is slightly longer than the outgoing model, with a stretch that translates to less than an inch of extra passenger and cargo room, according to the brand's reps. Maybe so, but there was no previous generation model on hand for comparison purposes and as a result we're not able to say if the difference is significant. What is significant is the interior design, now with a heavy focus on Audi's MMI infotainment system. With a similar twin screen setup to the new A8 flagship sedan, the A7's cabin looks like it has been teleported from a not too distant future. The entire information display ahead of the driver is digital, while the center stack boasts upper 10.1 inch and lower 8.6 inch displays, both operated as touchscreens with haptic feedback.